Hello everybody, this is E3PO from WMClan.net. In this video tutorial, you will be seeing how to put things like uh, Halo models into uh, Source Engine. Anyway, I have a fever of 100.1 today, so I'm not sounding too good, so bear with me. I'm probably going to be breathing deeply and all that nasty stuff that you don't want to hear in video tutorials. Ah, <sighs> okay, that was a long sentence. To get started, go ahead and download the little file on the right-hand side of this video. Should be all the little stuff you need if you are viewing this tutorial from uh, Halo Maps. Then uh, just download all that goodies and install everything, and you're going to download this, and you're going to need this and this. Anyway, to get started, go ahead and run that little script if you're importing from Halo, and load this up. Load up, uh, let's say, in this video tutorial I'm going to be loading... Uh, let's go ahead and load up the... Hmm... Let's put... C storage large. Let's go ahead and import this. Okay, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and get all the textures we need for this. Go M, C storage. Uh, okay, now go. If you're doing this with Halo, you're going to need to get the bitmaps for this. So open up Halo Bitmaps Extractor, which you should have already downloaded. Uh, go ahead and go to Tags, Levels. Or not Tags, Levels. Go to Tags, Scenery. And then whatever scenery you imported. Uh, C, where is this? Storage large. Uh, you're gonna want the bitmaps. Uh, where, where is this? Probably in this one. Okay, that's what we're gonna want. Go ahead and extract this as a TGA file. And just open this up here. Let's see, did it convert it? Uh, I guess not. I must have closed it too fast. Uh, okay. Scenery. Oh, it's in tags. Scenery. C storage bitmaps extract Let's see storage tga oh it must have done it i must have this what the hell maybe it's in tags there it is okay see storage that looks perfectly good to me okay right click on it convert to editable poly what the hell okay Let's delete the frame just get this, convert it. Uh, go down here and delete the smoothing groups. And just hit auto smooth. Okay, and go up here, export selected. You're going to want to uh, make a new folder and call it whatever this is called. So I'm just going to call this uh, storage. Just to make it simple. And call this storage.smg. Export reference. And then... Uh, uh, that works. Might want to call this storage as well. And export it. That works like that. Okay, and also you're going to want to export the uh, storage underscore animation. Save that. And then... Uh, okay, now I'll go into that directory. So that's the program files, steam, your name, source, SDK, content. Oh, I didn't really say where you were extracting those to, did I? Ah, oh, silly me. Okay, you're wanting to extract those to uh, that folder. Okay, now copy this one. Copy it twice. Name this one storage. Uh, P H Y S. And rename this one to storage idle. Okay, now go back another few directories. Uh, go way back. Go into Team Fortress 2, Team Fortress Materials, Models. And make a new folder called. Da -da 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 -da, storage. Okay, and then we're going to want to bring in the. Uh, what do you call it? the tags uh scenery da, 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 da. I'm gonna bring in the texture so C storage the TGA file just bring it into here and then open with VTF edit that you should also already have uh blah, 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 just like that go ahead and save it as storage VTF create a VMT file for it make sure this is a uh, uh, I usually do vertex select generic and disable translucent storage, uh, just like that. And you can also make a bump map for it if you're feeling that happy. You just hit import, import the TGA, generate bump map, change the scale to whatever you want it to be. Uh, it'll generate a nice little bump map for it. Save this as storage bump. Uh, VTF, and you can also open up the uh, this one again and add a bump map to it. Actually, you can just create a new VMT file for it. Uh, just make the bump map start to bump. Voila, create it again, rename it. Is this replace it? Okay. Now when you've done all of that, you're gonna want to load up this little program. Go ahead and put that in uh, 
It's really anywhere, it doesn't matter where you put it. I already have it, so I'm just going to go back. Actually, before you do that, go into Models, Storage. Go to Source SDK, TF2, Model Source, Models, Storage. Copy this little model name, QC, rename it to Storage.QC. Open that with Notepad. Okay, now rename this to, uh, so let me see, I have a, uh, I have another QC file that I'll just load up here. Okay, just name all these. Storage. 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 And storage. Okay, there you have it. Save it. Go ahead and... Uh, open it with that uh, little studio model program. If you first time you run it, go ahead and set your... Uh, Orange box path to Steam apps. Put all your name, SDK bin, orange box bin, and load up Team Fortress 2 here. Compile it up. Uh, it should say error compiling because I forgot to add this uh, DF2 TF models. Uh, add this storage. Gotta make a blank directory here. And just clear the log and compile it again. It should compile it up and go ahead and load up Hammer. You should see here. Let's just copy this and uh, drag it over. Let's bring it like way over here. Double click. I usually use use bounding box for the collisions. And uh, uh, once this loads up, let's see. We're gonna need to refresh all these, aren't we? Okay. Let's see. Let's just make this storage and storage. Hit apply. Uh, well, we got the model in, but the texture is not doing what we wanted to do. So let's just go ahead and. Uh, Restart hammer. And load that map back up. Go ahead and check this out. Okay, so we're having a little texture problem, so let's go ahead and see if we can figure that out. Uh TF2 materials, models, storage. We have the storage VTF. Uh let's make sure this is right. Okay, that looks Looks right. Uh, I'm probably missing something very obvious. Let me make sure I got everything in my QC file right. Okay, it looks right. Uh, let's make sure, let's see here. Let's go in this and see what this is called. Oh, this is called C storage. I my mistake. So we're gonna need to uh, name this C storage underscore VMT. And that should, uh, Close out of that and load it back up. Uh, there we go. That's how you do it. Just imported a model into uh, Hammer from SMD or from uh, 3ds Max. Uh, I'm going to bed, so just go ahead and run your map, and it will be in game. And voila, see ya.